This video is this month's Patreon requested video. So over on patreon.com forward slash as always, there is a tier where once a month I do a thread where people get to suggest videos that I do. So this month, Kimasabe Gamer picked an AC3 remaster video where I bring back AC3 followers. So for those of you who don't know, this will be something new to you. My channel used to be called AC3 Follower. And this video will kind of be a bit of a laugh, a bit of a joke and a throwback to those good old days when I started my channel seven years ago almost, back in 2012, before Assassin's Creed 3 came out. So, enjoy the video, be a bit of a laugh, and then some sort of information? Probably not. Anyway, let's get into it. What's up all you AC3 followers? It's the AC3 <laughs> follower here. Fuck you, Billy. <laughs> Hey guys, it is Tyler here, the AC3 follower, to talk about Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered that comes out tomorrow. Can you believe it? I just can't believe it. I'm so excited. I'm just... Anyway, uh, it's either coming out as a separate release you can buy, or it comes with the Assassin's Creed Odyssey Season Pass, in which uh, I unfortunately was given. Um, I mean, unfortunately, I was given by Ubisoft, so I'll be getting Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. Will I be playing it? Certainly not tomorrow or any time in the next couple of weeks, but eventually down the road, I'm sure I will, unfortunately, play that. But I'm here to talk about Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered because on Patreon you want me to talk about it. So here I am talking about Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. It's just so exciting. The funny thing is about Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered that I've actually looked into it now because of this video is that it actually looks like a remaster done way better than any of the remasters they've done with Assassin's Creed so far, including the Ezio Collection or Assassin's Creed Rogue Reported. So, I am just quite confused as why Assassin's Creed The Ezio Collection didn't get a treatment like this where they actually added features to the game and gameplay elements that would help actually fix things that went wrong, as well as, of course, textures, graphics, that sort of stuff that, of course, The Ezio Collection got as well. So, the general look of the remaster, I mean, Assassin's Creed 3, as most of you are aware, is my least favourite game in the franchise by a significant margin, mostly for story reasons and character reasons, of course. I mean, I have the goddamn podcast called Kill Connor Club. It's just not for me. It's just not for me. I'm excited for those of you who care about this, because there are a lot of Assassin's Creed 3 fans out there I've been seeing that are hyped that they get to revisit it. And you know what? Good for you. You're allowed your own opinions, and you're also allowed to be wrong. And that's fine too. That's okay. You're allowed to be wrong. Your opinion's allowed to be wrong. That's totally fine. Oh, I love being a dick. But the general look of the remaster in the original Assassin's Creed 3, obviously, quite a dull looking game, a lot of greys, a lot of just dull shades, James Hunt talked about it ad nauseum, and this remaster, at first, when I first saw the trailer, just looked like they've turned up the hue and saturation of the colours a whole lot to make it look brighter and a bit more colourful, and sure it does, there's some texture improvements, obviously, the graphics and shading looks a lot better. In general, I actually think, though I have seen from some of the cutscenes that it looks a bit wonky as well, so in, in general, look-wise of this remaster, it looks fine. It looks how a remaster, I guess, should look probably better than any of the Ezio games remastered, definitely better than the Rogue remaster, but I'm a bit wary of some of those cutscenes that I've seen screenshots of, but again, haven't played the remaster, so I'm not too sure. Now, in terms of the updates, now this is quite interesting to me, that they actually went almost above and beyond in some ways with adding crowd, just to make it a bit more immersive, actually be able to use social stealth a bit better in this game, miss social stealth in the current games, it's just a travesty, it's not there. Fixing skin shading, minimap, that's a big one, because the heart of Assassin's Creed 3 is just, just horrible. It's just the worst heart of all time. Unity's is a close second to shittest HUD, but it's good that they've adjusted the minimap and fixed some of the HUD areas that I've seen, and that's cool. Very good addition. You've actually taken feedback from the players and you're, and you're adjusting it in the game itself. It's not just a report with some new graphics and coloring on it. You're actually adjusting the game to work better. That's fantastic. Free aiming range weapons. Black Flag had it. In Improvement from 3, 
with a remaster of 3, why would you not improve that as well? That's a, What a great addition. Fantastic efforts you've done. Great job. The stealth upgrade. Really trying to focus on stealth. They even said in an update for the March patch of Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which of course that includes in March Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered, that Assassin's Creed 3 is a game that's pretty much a brawl-based combat system. It's a system that was pretty much made just to beat the fuck out of as many people as you can handle, uh, one after the other, in high-profile combat. There wasn't a whole lot of room for stealth, so they added double assassinations in low-profile. Great addition. Whistling from bushes. Great addition. All stuff that is in the current games and should be in this game. Obviously, double assassination is in... There's barely assassinations in the current games, let alone the previous games. <laughs> Plus, of course, they've got to add new legacy outfits. You know, Bayek, the original assassin, good old Alexios, um, my favorite assassin of all time. And, um, of course, I feel like I'm just doing James's video again. I watched that yesterday to see if he had information about the game, and I'm just like, oh, this, I hadn't, what? Only reason I'm doing this is Patreon. Like, I'm, I'm just doing the same video as him. I simply am not going to play this remaster. What what am I doing? Generally speaking, as I said before, I'm happy for Assassin's Creed 3 fans that get the remaster of the game they loved. I'm happy that they'll get to sit down and enjoy the worst story and character in the Assassin's Creed franchise. I'm really happy for you that you get to do that. And uh, I'm here to just kind of give my old... AC3 follow fans some nostalgia by making a video with Assassin's Creed 3 music underneath it with Tonight by Sea the playing in an Apple default intro that you saw and just to take the piss out of this game that I don't like. I will probably play this at some point just to kind of have a look at it since I will own it anyway for free. I didn't pay a cent for it. I would never pay money for this game. But there is one thing I am hoping that they add and I'm, I doubt they added because yes they've added some mechanical additions to the remaster by the sounds of it. I haven't heard anything in terms of story additions. Now, I don't expect any story additions in terms of they would have added, gotten the actors back to do new dialogue or anything like that. I would never expect that. N would never happen. But there was a dialogue piece taken out of the epilogue that Connor did that has been released on YouTube, a speech. Connor gives great speech, in fact. Some would say redeeming for the character of Connor. I would not agree. Doesn't change the fact he sucks. But it definitely doesn't hurt him. You know, it, it, it definitely helps him a bit. Still don't like him. Still least favorite character. But certainly a great addition that made no sense to be taken out. You already have that. Why would you not just add that in? That's just something I feel like has to be added in. Again, the game comes out tomorrow. There are reviews that have already come out about it. People have played, played it already with review copies. Ethan, I know, has played it. So I don't know. I could ask Ethan that question. He could tell me. But that would ruin me talking about it in the video because I don't expect it to be added. But that would have been great. That would have been great. You know, they, they've done a lot with this remaster, more than I expected, to be honest. I really thought it would just be a port with some, like they did with Assassin's Creed 2 remastered and, and the rest of the Ezio collection. But they've done qu quite a lot. Not a massive amount, but enough, I guess, to warrant a remaster six and a half years after the original game came out. I don't know why now's the time for an Assassin's Creed 3 remaster. I guess it's the only game... No... Like, they haven't done Assassin's Creed 1 remaster, but they're doing, they've done 3, they've done the Ezio collection, Rogue One, it's really just a port over. You can get, there's now every game, either brand new or remastered on current gen consoles, except for Assassin's Creed 1, which is backwards compatible on Xbox. But I, I, I wonder when, why, and what do we have to do to get an AC1 remaster, and if we get it, will it be treated way better than these, where they really go full on, almost like a remake. So that's what I need to remake, because obviously gameplay-wise, mechanic-wise, it has a lot of work to do. Very repetitive, I understand, for some people, especially in nowadays. So I feel like if you did remaster it, you kind of almost would have to remake it in some way. So I understand that, but I want that way more than I want this, because AC1 is awesome. Has an amazing story, sets so much up. I just realized there's modern day in this, Assassin's Creed 3, so I'm actually going to see Desmond's wonky face again. Oh man, people get to see Desmond die again, that's hilarious. Oh, that's so funny. Um, anyway, yeah, Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered um, is happening tomorrow. 
Uh, let me know in the comments whether you're going to get it. And uh, what do you think of Assassin's Creed 3 and the remaster? And uh, um, yeah, that's it for the AC3 follower. It's been a while since I've done an AC3 follower update. It's been a good six years. Um, but now uh, we're pretty much wrapping this up. The final AC3 follower video of all time. I thought that happened years ago. Turns out it hasn't. Uh, six years later, the real final AC3 follower update. Thank you, everybody, for watching this video. I appreciate it. I really do. Even though it's pointless. And anyone that's clicked on this video that doesn't know me and is just the first time they're watching me, they're an AC3 fan, they wanted real great information. But obviously they've already clicked off. But just in case you haven't, wow. I bet you fucking hate me. And fair enough, I would too. Um, so... Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Again, I appreciate it. Like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And again, this is a Patreon decided video over on patreon.com forward slash as always. So if you like what you saw here and you want more exclusive content like podcasts, head over to patreon.com forward slash as always. But it's $1 a month. You can become an as always member. And to be a part of polls for future videos, that's $10 plus a month. But there's heaps of other cool perks. Go check it out. Go on. Go check it out if you haven't already. We're growing super strong this year. I'm so proud of it. Um, and anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you Sunday for Cinema and Podcast, Batman, The Dark Knight, Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight, or on Patreon for Kill Connor Clubhouse, and next Monday, episode three of season three of Battle Bros, my Battlefield 5 gameplay series will be out. So thank you again for watching, everybody. That's the fourth thumb I've said. Thank you, Jesus Christ Almighty. Anyway, AC3 follower out.